All right, and hello everybody, and welcome back. And it's time for creativity class, and it's week six. So we're all happy today. Last week we did a zoom, 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 zoom. We zoomed along at the top like they're doing there, zooming along, and we had a great time, baby. <laughs> I hope so. Hopefully you all had a great time doing your Zoom class last week. And even though it was a little bit hard and people had problems, it's okay. We did our best and that's all I care about. And I told you it was worth 10%. So you came to class, 10%. That's all you had to do was to try. You all tried really well. So I'm so happy. You all did a great job. You all are amazing. So. Don't worry, we had problems or, you know, slow connection. It happens, you know, you know, what can we do? So today's class is a little bit shorter. We're actually going to do a little bit from the book and then I'll do a couple of review questions from the writing book. But you'll only need your worksheet and your textbook for a little bit of time today. So remember, today it's week six and we're ready to start. So let's go. Now. What we're going to do is we're going to talk about things in the textbook. Now, 69 in the textbook is really easy for us to do. So if you go to page 69, this is unit five, and this is talking about heroes. So we're going to talk about heroes, people that you like. Now, in English, we can say admire, respect, like. They are all the same kind of meanings. They are heroes, people that you like, people you admire, people you respect. It's people that you think are good people. So in English you might say, I admire my parents. I think they are good people, they do good things, so they are the people to like. Some people might say, oh, I respect my parents. You think they did a really good job, they did something good, so we say respect. So I respect them. I like, oh, I love my parents, right? Like this would be the right answer. But you might say, I like this person because they did something good. So you can see, we can say many things. So I respect them. I like them. I admire them. A little bit different, but same meaning. You think they are good people or they've done something right. So what we're going to do is on page 69, you can see there's a little space. What I want you to do is write down three people. Wait, that's four. Three people. I want you to write down three people who you would invite to a party. Who would you invite to a party? It can be people from the past. It can be people from now. It can be people you know or you don't know. Anybody is okay. So. For example, you write down the person's name, their job, and you give them like or you write down two or three reasons why you invite that person. So for Fraser, who would he invite? Have a guess. Mm -hmm. Who? That's right. Fraser's love. Coming soon. Where is she? Come on. Bam! There we go. So who would I invite? Hello Kitty. What's her job? International famous cartoon character. Uh, why would I invite them? Oh, I'm sure she's been so many places. I would want to ask her so many questions. Remember, no otaku, but I have a One Piece t-shirt. So, okay, baby, let's go next one. Oh, it's Finn and Jake. So, what's their job? They are adventurers. Why would I invite them? Because they have been on so many adventures they could tell me so many things, it would be really interesting to talk to them. So, I've given a couple of reasons. Next one, is it going to be animation character? Uh, no, okay. The final one is Bruno Fernandes. What's his job? Manchester United, so he's professional footballer or soccer player. So, why would I invite him? Hmm. I would want to ask him about Manchester United. Is it different to being in Portugal or Italy? I would ask him about other players in the team. So I would want to talk to him about sports and training and so many things. So that's why I would choose him. So those are my three people. So what I want you to do is to pause me. 
and write down your answers. You've all finished. You've written down the three people. And I'll check that because I'd like to know who you would invite. Maybe number one was Fraser, right? Mm-hmm. So quickly, erase, <laughs> change your answer quickly, Fraser, Fraser, I'm going to check. <laughs> so don't worry, all right? Now, the next part of today's class is on page 70. So if you turn over the page, we're going to personal heroes. There's a small reading section that's there. I want you to read through there and have a look at the blue words. The blue words are important. So. I'll use all the words and things for the midterm test, for final test, so just look at the blue words. So, the idea is, as I said, the last page, a role model or hero is someone you admire. In English we say, look up. So we'd be like, oh, I look up to Bruno Fernandez. I think he's a good person like this. So, I look up to my parents. I look up to Steve Jobs. Fraser's my hero. I mean, I'm kidding, so obviously not. <clears throat> uh, somebody's my... Scott's my hero. No, never, never. <laughs> okay, so you'd say somebody's my hero. So, or maybe admire them, look up to them, same meaning. So, who's your role model? Now, in this one here, you want to read through the text. And you want to choose the words that are positive. So for number one, you have to write down uh, or check the words that you think could fit in the sentence. The sentence is a role model is a blank person. So what I want you to do is to read through here, figure out the meaning of the words, look at this one, and then choose the words that you think would fit the sentence. Now, I'll go through the words one time. You have brave, confused, hardworking, nervous, confident, generous, kind, smart, intelligent. Now, smart and intelligent are together. They're the same meaning. But in America, they say smart. In Britain, we say intelligent. Okay? So, pause me. And let's go through the first one. So, we had the choices. Which ones? Of course. Brave. You're not scared. It's a good word to use to say about a role model or a hero. Like a soldier is brave. Ha! Huh, I can do it. Like they're ready to fight. They're ready to do it. Confident. Again, if you're confident, you're sure. So, a hero is confident. They can do it. The next one is hard working. Of course, you're a hard-working person. You're very diligent, you study, you do something. Hard-working people are people you admire. Generous. Generous is giving something. So, a generous person will always help. Giving their service, giving their person, giving their time to do something for you. Now, the next one says kind. And generous and kind are very similar. Because kind is always willing to help. If a kind person, I understand the problem and I'll help you. I am... Maybe... <laughs> kind, right? So you'd say, our oh, phrase is kind, he's always trying to help us. Maybe no, I hope so. Please. Okay, next one. Smart and intelligent... Oh, what? Wow! Oh, I didn't know that answer. Oh, I'm so shy. Oh, smart and intelligent, Fraser. Hmm. Now, Ajay Gag aside, you know that, as I said, smart, intelligent is for good brain. They can do things well. So, all of those words are good. You can use them for people that you like, they're intelligent, smart. That's somebody you admire. So, all of these words are positive words that you can use to describe it. Now, we're going to do B. Now, B, there are four questions. Reading the short paragraph one more time, answer the four questions. First question, what does Nicole Colon do? Number two, as a kid, who was her hero? Number three, why did Nicole look up to this person? And number four is, who else does Nicole admire? So, I want you to take a couple of minutes. 
I want you to go through each one and I want you to answer the question. So, pause me now. All right, let's go through the answers. So, what does she do? She is an astronomer. Astronomer looks at the sky. They look at the stars. So an astronomer looks for planets or stars, the sun, the moon. They look into the sky at night. They look and try to find things that are outside of the earth. Number two, hero. It was an astronomer called Ellie in the movie Contact. So that's who she was like her hero as a child. Next one, why? They were smart, intelligent, and brave, not scared. The next one. Who else does she admire? Galileo Galilei. So she was very interested in scientists, people who were astronomers, people who looked into the stars, people who looked for other things. So as you can see, those are the answers. Hopefully you got them all right. I know you're smart, so you did it right. So let's go on to the next part. Now the next part is all about questions that you can ask. So if I move me a little bit, perfect. What I want you to do is write down some of your answers. Now, there's no chance to talk to our partners today. It's a YouTube video, so don't worry. But all of these are using the words that were in the textbook. So. They use some negative words. So they use confused. Like, oh, what's happening? I don't understand. I don't know. That's confused. Nervous, scared, nervous, worried about something. So they use positive words for role model. They also use some negative words. So I've used all of these to make a question. And I've put your questions on your worksheet here. And all you have to do is write your answer on the worksheet. Now I'll go through each question one time. So, dum -ba -dum. first one, when do you feel confused? Like, I don't understand. Maybe now, hmm? Hopefully no, but that could be the case. What makes you nervous? Again, what makes you worried or scared? You can write a sentence. Don't just write one word. Try to write a sentence, just practice your English. What is a brave job? Who is the bravest person you know? So you can think about a job that's very brave in that one. When were you generous? When did you give something to other people? Which subject are you confident in these days? So which subject, class time, do you think you can do well? Have you been hardworking this semester? Rate yourself, honestly. One is very terrible, like not hardworking, lazy. 10 is hardworking, the best. So which one are you, one or 10? Which person in your family is the most intelligent? Who is a really intelligent person? Maybe my sister. Fraser, no. Hmm. And who is a hero to you? So you can write down a person's name who is a hero for you, okay? It's super easy. So, Pause me now and write down your answer. So pause me. We're good. Let's go. Now, this part of class is all about the past tense. Now, the past tense is very easy to remember. We're only talking about things that have happened in the past. So what happened yesterday? So, for example, we could say, I went home yesterday. I watched a movie yesterday. So each of these talk about simple past, something that's happened, completed in the past. So it's talking about very easy things that have happened and finished already. Now, most verbs are called a regular verb. So if I move me over here, so we don't look here, we only look here, we have the regular verbs. And most regular verbs put ed or d on the end of the verb. So if we look at the first one, I want becomes I wanted. So ed, wanted something in the past. Help, helped. So a little bit different sound. So wanted, helped. So a little bit different. Next one, we have just a verb plus d. So in this case, we already have the e. 
so we just need the D. So like becomes liked. Sounds like T. Liked. So I liked soccer in middle school in the past. Now sometimes a verb ends with a Y and if it ends with a Y we need to put on the end IED. So we have no Y I E D. So studied, studied. I studied English in the past. Now, if we have a negative, like for example, not have, and we're talking in the past, so not now, in the past, we always use the auxiliary like do. So in this case, do becomes did. That's the past part. So for example, not have, like I. I don't have it becomes didn't have in the past. So for example, I didn't have breakfast this morning or I didn't have breakfast yesterday. So when we make a negative, we always use the auxiliary did. That's the past tense part. And then have remains the same. We don't change the verb have. We change do to did. So did not have, didn't have. Now, many verb is regular, but sometimes we have irregular. So we're over here. Look at me. Bro. Oh, go back. Over here. Now, if you look carefully, we have irregular. Now, this says eat. I eat. But if we talk about past, I ate. So it's not D or ED or I, anything like that, it's different, so it's irregular. Sleep, I slept yesterday. When we come to negative, it's the same. Not eat becomes didn't eat. So you can see these ones always, when we say about negative, then the negative here, this is the past. Did, past, didn't eat. The verb doesn't change. This is the past part. This doesn't change. Super easy, right? So hopefully you got the understanding of this grammar. And on page number 74 in the textbook, they talk about the simple past. And you can see they have it at the top in the grammar box. And then they have a little passage. I want you to do the answers in the passage. So you're going to look at D. And on D, you're just going to fill in the story with the correct one. So some of them will need ED, some of them will need D, some of them IED, and some of them are short, so you need another letter and ED. But when it's negative, it's always didn't and the base form of the verb. So you know if it says not and verb, then you say didn't and verb. So what I'd like you to do is look at it and write the answers down. It's super easy. So if I help you do number one, it's help from a stranger. There was a girl named Elisa in my class. I blank her a lot. Now the blank, they give you the verb. It says like. Like is, mm -hmm, that's right, liked. So number one is liked. So just go through that and write the answer for each one. Now I'm going to pause me and then you can do it and then unpause and we can start. So pause me now. And we're ready to go. So number two, invite, invited. Number three, ask, asked. Number four, offered. Number five, looked. Number six, negative. So this time, didn't have. Number seven, tried. Number eight, waited. Number nine, didn't answer. Number ten, explained. Number eleven, opened. And number twelve, handed. Is that it? No. We have two more. Promised and replied. As you can see, you've got the perfect answer. You are perfect. Bam, right? 
Hopefully you got all of them correct. I hope all of them were perfect because I know you're smart. So maybe, hmm, maybe, maybe not. Who knows, right? But hopefully you got all of the correct ones. So if you want to practice again, you can do page number 75. And it's exactly the same, but I won't check that because it's exactly the same. So if you want to practice, do 75. Pause me now. If not, then it's okay. So I don't mind too much about what you do. Just try your best, right? Just try and do as much as you can. Now, remember one thing about the past tense. We always ask questions in the past. And there's many questions that just use like no question word. So, for example, we use did. Did is called the auxiliary. So, did, remember this is the past, did, do, did. Then we have a person or the subject, and then we have the verb. So, did Fraser play? Did Max play? And then we finish the rest of the question, like what are we asking? So, the rest of it. So, in this case, football. Did Max play football? When we answer, Yes, he did. No answer. No, he didn't. Remember auxiliary plus the negative form if it's that case. So it's easy. So it means did he do something? Did he do an action? Yes or no? So we can write that down easy. Did you watch the film yesterday? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. So it's easy to write the answers and it's easy to make a question. We put the did first if it's like an action of doing something. Now, always there's an exception. If you use be, was or were, like this. So always the question is, were you? Were you in hoofs last week? Yes, I was. No, I wasn't. This is if we use a were you question. Were you using the to be part, the be part. Be, to be, or not to be. Oh, bad joke, Fraser. Okay, next one. Sometimes we make a question with a question word. Now, a question word is WH. What, when, where, why? Like this. The question word always comes first. So what, when, where comes first. Then we have the auxiliary, the did part. Then the subject and then the verb. And the verb doesn't change, always the same. So what did you do yesterday? Answer. And this is like we did before. We use the verb of what we did. So in this case, play, I played computer games. We're asking for more information, not yes or no. We want to know exactly. So in this case, I played computer games. Next on, when did she meet her boyfriend? She met him yesterday. So meet is irregular, met. She met him yesterday. Where did they go after the match? They went to a cafe. Go is irregular, went. I went to Europe. I went home like this. So many verbs use ed or ed or d like this here, but there's also many irregular ones. So this is just simple past, making a question with a question word. Again, there's always a time when you have were, uh, where were you yesterday? Now, if we use the were part, then it's was. I was at the cinema. So you can make easy sentences for each one. Where were you yesterday? I was at home. Like that. Now, Fraser, pew! No, keep going, pew! So what I want you to do is I want you to answer the questions on your worksheet. So remember again, go to your worksheet, page 74, and it says simple past. You just have to write an answer. Now you can type the answer, you can write the answer, you just have to do the answers on here. So, what did you do yesterday? I went home yesterday. Fine. Any, any answer is okay. Which high school did you go to? So, go, remember, irregular. I went to blah, 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 high school. Who was your childhood best friend? 
Fraser was my best friend like this. What games did you like to play when you were a child? I liked to play blah blah blah. Because what? We're asking for information. What were some of your favorite toys? My favorite toy was blah blah blah. Or were for plural were blah blah blah. Which was better for you? Elementary school, junior school, or high school? Why? Then you'd be like, I liked dun dun dun. More like that. What did you eat for dinner yesterday? I ate blah blah blah. What did you watch on TV last night? I watched dun, 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 dun. Which idol or band did you like in the past? This question means you don't like them now. So I liked Sonyo Shide in the past. Too long ago. I liked Hmm, who could I say? I liked after school. Who? I liked Eyes One in the past. Anything is okay. I like BTS. It means you don't like them now. So you can say anything you want. Did you study hard this semester? So study. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Maybe yes, although I don't know. Maybe no. But write down your answer. So pause me now. And we're ready to start. So you've written all of your answers on the worksheet. And we're going to go into the final part. The final parts are easy. Today's class is shorter. So we're going to take a break. Pew! So give me five minutes, ten minutes, and then we can start again. So that's it for the first part. Okay, we're back and it's time to finish class. Not yet. A little bit more. But as you can see in today's class, I've made it a little shorter today. So first of all is page 28. Page 28 is from the writing book. I didn't check your writing work. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to get you to write down some of the things, like the key points, because I'll use some of it for the midterm. And also I'll get you to write down your opinion. So unit one and unit two, this is review, just for me to check your English. So what I would like is for you to write a couple of sentences or short answers for your questions. Now, the first one is to help with the midterm test. The midterm test is going to be talking about a memorable moment in your life. So for today, I want you to write down the key point, not full sentence. If you want to write a full sentence, you can. But what I need is you to say the key point. So what is the most memorable moment in your life? Maybe. <clears throat> Maybe meeting Fraser. Hmm. Mm. I'm sorry, bad Fraser, right? So maybe no Fraser. Uh, maybe it's meeting IU. Maybe you met IU. So I'd like you to say most memorable moment, IU. What is the topic of your story? Going to IU concert. Main story, going to IU's concert, right? But this part means main story. I'm looking for more information. First, who are the people in the story? me, my friends, when and where did it happen? Mm, last year, where? Seoul Park, bam. What happened? I saw I used concert. How or why? Why? It was my birthday. So I went to see IU in concert. What did you learn from this event? That I love IU. IU, IU, uh. Are you, are you, are you? That's my heart breaking. Are you? <clears throat> but that's it. So on your paper, all you need to do is just to write down the most memorable moment. What is the topic of your story? Then this part here, you're going to answer these questions. Just short. Not long, just short answer for each one. Okay? And I think that needs a question mark. Bing! So, write down each one. So, pause me now. And we're ready to go, right? You did it. Perfect. So, you wrote down the main things. Just short part for each one. The final one is about argument. Unit 2 in the writing book. So, number 2 said, give your opinion. So, I just want you to write down short answer and tell me what's your opinion. 
So, number one, do you think professors assign too much homework? Yes or no? What are the benefits and drawbacks of homework? So, assign means to give homework. So, do you think professors give too much homework? What is the good point of homework? Bad points of homework. So, good and bad points. Who should reduce the amount? Who, which professor should give less homework? Hopefully it's not me. Maybe you want more homework from me. Never, right? Never. I hate homework. What is the hardest thing you have to deal with in your daily life? What gives you stress? So you're like, oh, I think, just opinion. What's, what do you think? So you're like, oh, major class or homework or hoofstorm, like that kind of thing. Do you think that food prices are increasing too fast? Like maybe fried chicken two years ago, like manotonon, but now manpaltonon or imanon or imanotonon. Like it's so expensive. So what do you think? Is it becoming too expensive? Yes or no? Just give your opinion. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Do you think that Korea is fair, equal, same with the conscription into the army? Conscription means have to go to the army boy guys have no choice have to go is this fair or not yes or no any opinion is okay it doesn't matter do you think sns social media like instagram facebook or anything else allows for meaningful communication so if i send you cacao talk and he, 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 you, 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 you. Is this real talking? Is this good communication? Yes or no? Now, remember, older people maybe think no. Younger people think yes. It's your opinion. So just give me your opinion. What do you think? Yes or no? You can say why. Would you replace your body part with robot parts? Or maybe you change your arm, your winter soldier. Do you want to be winter soldier? Yeah, like that. Change your brain. Become smart like somebody. Uh, which parts would you like to change? Next one. The last two is a little hard because you're not at hoofs. So it's not easy to answer. But what do you think about hoofs so far? It's online you class. But how has it been? Was hoofs the right choice, do you think? Hopefully you say yes and you'll be like, yes, because Fraser's class was fun. Maybe no, right? It's a sad story, but maybe not. Are you satisfied with your major? Do you like it? It's your opinion. Yes, no. No, it's a wrong choice. I'm I'm gonna Jesu and then take Sunung one more time. Your choice. Any answers okay? Are you like no I love it? It's the best major. It's so fun. I've had a great time. Just write down your answers on here. Just write down your opinion. Write it down, type it, everything is okay. So pause me now. Let's go. And that's it for today. Today's class is over. We are finished with the class. Let's remember, if you want, just go to bed. Take a rest. No, I'm kidding. Uh, what you should do is you should look into doing unit three of the writing book. The writing book is just there to finish. Unit three will be on the final test, I know, for sure. So just go through the YouTube video. I'll link it over here and you can go to it and it'll be perfect. Um, that's it for today. We're all finished. The writing book is going to be there. You can do it. Take a break. Have a party. Everybody's super, super happy. Yeah. So you can do that one today. Um, just remember, I'm going to give you a very simple quiz just to ask a couple of questions about today's video. And I'll ask you just to type down like a short answer for something, but it's just to check attendance and it's super easy. You don't have to worry. Everything is all okay. You're doing a great job. Everybody's doing really well. So don't worry about the quiz. It's just simple questions about this video uh, and then just write a couple of answers. The score doesn't matter. It's just for attendance. So that's it for today. Everybody, I love you. See you next time. Bye-bye.